today, Sony PlayStation Network outage throws gamers into hours long disarray. Sony's PlayStation Network went down for hours on Tuesday, frustrating gamers around the world who complained that they weren't able to sign into their accounts. PlayStation Network said on its website some services are experiencing issues and that players might have difficulty logging in, creating accounts, launching games, or getting video content. We are working to resolve the issue as soon as possible. It said Sony did not respond immediately to a request for comment. <clears throat> Data from down detector and outage tracker showed that reports first spiked late Monday and continued into early Tuesday with thousands of reports submitted hours after the first problem. The outage was resolved by the morning in the US and PlayStation Network website was updated with a message that said all services are up and running. What is going on? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing morning this morning, guys. I don't know, it may be pure speculation on my part, but is this caused by the integration of Junction? Because we know Junction was coming out and needed to be tested and some of the talks were with Junction being affiliated with PlayStation. Now, you know that G, uh, Junction is all about the GPU rendering and stuff like that to that nature. So pure speculation on my part, but just something to think about. You know, every time a company integrates um, any type of new networking devices or anything like that, um, and we know that Jasmine has patents with Junction 2, Sony PlayStation. I don't know, just some stuff to think about. I'm not here to cause controversy or nothing, but just uh, we know that Junction is supposed to be being launched pretty soon here so is it a coincidence i don't know but i just thought i'd throw that out there guys we're going to get into this video today we're going to talk about jasmine uh we're going to talk about the price that we could expect for this bull run um definitely a lot of people have been trying to figure out where it's going to go but we're going to look at some of the historical data that we have from jasmine to kind of give us an idea of what is to play out in you know the coming months and the coming uh quarters i guess we could say because we know that the bull run's about to kick off and uh is it going to start flying in october or pumptober however you want to call it guys make sure you watch all the way through to the end of this video guys if you guys are new to crypto make sure you hit that like and subscribe button uh so you can stay in tune with my videos that come out and this is not financial advice of course but just some education for you to understand this project that we call jasmine so make sure you guys again watch all the way through to the end because you don't want to miss this one all right, so what can we expect for Jasmine going forward as we get into these, uh, you know, upcoming months of this bull run? Um, is it really going to get to a dollar uh, in this year of 2024? I don't think so, uh, but we can and we will look at some of the historical data. Hey guys, so if you guys have been following me on Twitter or X, uh, you know that I've been putting up, um, you know, some of my info up there so you could see the charts i'm just gonna try to delete this i was trying to call it for last month but guys i don't know what the markets are gonna do per se but i was hoping that we would get into that five cent level before we hit the month of um, october and basically my catalyst for that call was just you know the whole um you know the report from jerome powell i thought that it was gonna be you know they were gonna take more points off the board but unfortunately we didn't so this was my september call so i'm gonna go ahead and take that one off live all right but <clears throat> this is where i think we're going in october so hopefully i think you know if everything plays out okay um i was hoping that we would go you know a little bit parabolic but um i think uh short term october um looking at the charts what it looks like is we got that you know the inverse head and shoulders we kind of we're trying to make an inverse head and shoulders here but it looks like you know we may dip down um i don't believe we should break that point uh zero two um, because obviously we're getting a lot of people um taking profits at these areas in bitcoin so we saw bitcoin drop a little bit but where i think jasmine is going to start heading up it was retesting back at this point uh, zero thirty two um, and then again to that point four, that's where I hope we break. So my goal is for us to break this 32 level. So still building higher highs and higher lows right here. Um, let's try to get it. And this is on the daily. So did we uh, kind of retested that? But well, you know, hopefully again, I'm not no professional when it comes to char. I just, just did a little bit of studying. So I know somewhat. Um, and this is why I really don't like going through this, but what it looks like right here is we need to come break out of this level, uh, which is our 25 and then retest at the 32, break that, retest 
four four cents 0 0.04 and if we break 0 0.04 then we got a lot of good headway to go into that eight to ten cent level if you go back pretty big resistance at nine ten cent level so that's kind of where i'm hoping that we go in the next uh you know next month october um because here's what happens like if we don't see a breakout of you know the 0.4 and go into five six um and we bounce around in eight and ten it's probably going to take about another month or two but maybe this is how it's going to play out you know maybe october <clears throat> sorry let me get some water real quick sorry apologize <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> maybe what's going to happen is we'll see that breakout of the 0 0.05 because i was thinking that we would get to 14 cents by november and then obviously go up into that 32 but we have a extremely large uh cup right here that is forming so we need to really break into these levels but guys for you to understand um once jasmine breaks we're gonna see a huge huge candle because we really um have enough momentum we have enough buying power we have enough money that's going into cryptocurrency as a whole to actually feed into jasmine and give that god candle now that god candle is going to take us up to the top of the cup and hit that 36 cent range now if everything plays out how you know we would want it to we obviously would come down and retest in this handle formation right because that's basically what it's building is building a huge cup um you know we'd break down and then break up into of where i was thinking it's like 60 can't see past uh this area of 36 because based on you know um the the pair the trading view has and it doesn't collect going back all that historical data so that's why we really have to hop over um into coin market cap um, so if we go to a coin market cap <clears throat> and we look at the performance of jasmine you know on the year and we go all time this is where everybody sees us at you know that jasmine actually got to our four dollars <laughs> four dollars and 29 cents guys it's late sorry um so what you know my expectation is really um you know meeting this level right here at a dollar 90 that is my expectation for us to get back up and retest into this yes i know it's impossible based on the way that you look at the total supply the max supply the market cap but there's some things that you don't understand how the integration of a layer two jasmine is going to bring volume into this now when they integrate with junction sorry if i've said jasmine when they integrate junction now we're going to have opportunities of staking we're going to have opportunities of possible burn uh, mechanisms we're going to have more utility going on with the token so this is going to um, exponentially change the way that the market cap and total supply are working for jasmine so it's going to take change the whole dynamic where it's going to become more deflationary over time like we have we had a single deflationary um plan in place which was basically locking tokens but now you take something like an integration of a layer two of junction to be able to cause utility um exponential utility for the project which means that you could stake jasmine tokens that means there's going to be more of a demand <clears throat> and also you have the utility of the token and i really really think that binance is waiting for junction to be live so they can release that bondage that they have on jasmine's tokens as far as being in the innovation zone or the monitoring zone however you want to call it I believe they're waiting to release that junction and it'd be operable because now you have burning mechanisms and everything in, in place where it brings more value to Jasmine as a whole. So that's that's good stuff right there. So hopefully you got something great out of that little uh, nugget that I try to throw to you just to give you an understanding. Yes, guys, I'm not a super pro at charts or anything like that. I'm just giving you what i know bare minimum but i'm not that person that has 5,000 lines or anything on there so you know i don't follow the elliot waves to a t and, and you know there are uh, people out there that do that but it's just you know i'm just keeping it basic um basic with facts though you know basic with facts and you know the way that these <clears throat> you know moves play out 
it's based on you know obviously money coming in i can't tell you what exactly jasmine's gonna do i could just tell you what i think that jasmine's gonna do and where my targets are at my targets are high they're my standards are high for my investment and if it doesn't play out i always have backup plans but that's my standard for jasmine and that's why i talk about it because i know that there's so much potential in the project and to go back to the whole sony outage <clears throat> i don't know if it was real or not or i don't know if it's true or not it just what a weird coincidence but anyways uh make sure you guys are liked and subscribed make sure you guys hit that bell notification to stay in tune um i'm gonna be staying on these videos as much as i possibly can guys i'm recording them super late at night so you could get it early early in the morning so much love to you guys who are watching my videos and following me guys it's been a, it's been a minute since i've been consistent but you know what <sighs> you always got to get back on the horse you gotta you fall down you gotta get back up let's go baby jasmine family for life Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe. And again, the whole Sony thing, speculation, 100%, just throwing it out there. Take care, guys. Be blessed.